All right, so uh, I've had the heat gun on here for about five minutes, maybe a little more. Uh, and you know, and the thread is around the center. So, so right now, let me show you what what it's reading. So it's reading 258, so I should be good there. But that's with the heat gun on there. Let me pull the heat gun off real fast. Okay, so it's still good. So I'm good there. Uh, so I think it's hot enough. Now this whole piece is gonna be, you know, 250 plus degrees, right? So it's gonna be real hot. So make sure you wear gloves when you do this. And uh, and the axle, axle bolt. Uh, so let me turn this off and put on my gloves. Actually what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna actually gonna turn this heat gun down because I don't wanna turn the heat gun off at full heat. The heat gun at full heat and you just turn it off. I think that's kinda hard on the elements. So I'm gonna just turn down the heat setting uh, to, to minimum so that way it blows air through there and it helps cool the heat gun down a little bit. Oops. I'm gonna let that run for um, while I put my gloves on. It'll be kind of noisy for you guys. Uh, all right, so here's my my axle bolt. And remember, this is a, a reverse thread, so it's, it's a righty righty loosey. So let's see. Oh, so that was easy. So last time I did this, you know, the previous video, we saw that I couldn't wasn't able to budge this thing, but that was a lot easier because that's Loctite on here. It's uh. You know, it's it's still a lot of resistance. You know, that's just the nature of the beast. Whenever you have Loctite on there, there's resistance. Uh, if it feels like it's still still too much, just uh, put a little bit more heat onto it. So, and this side is actually easier to do than the, the than the other leg because the other leg has the brakes, right? The brakes uh, mounting. So there's more mass, so it takes even longer to uh, to heat up. So that that one took me forever to heat up. This one was a much faster. Jeez, this thing's not tight enough. Okay. So as as you spin this thing, if you feel like it's getting tighter, put the heat gun back on it. Because what's happening is the Loctite is cooling down, and it's uh, Loctite's cooling down, so so it's kind of hardening up again. Okay, I think it's all all the way off. Okay, so that's the uh, I'm all the way off the thread. So now now I could freely spin it now, as you can see. So now I just basically kind of wiggle this. Oops, and there it goes. You actually see the Loctite's kind of burning a little bit. So there's a the Loctite on there and it's all you know it's all powdery residue now because you know uh, uh, that's how it is you know when you heat it up it breaks apart so from here I'm still holding this so I'm just leave on this for a while and let it cool down so don't touch this stuff right so I have my I have a uh, brass wire brush so I'm gonna use the brass wire brush to uh, to clean up the uh, the Loctite so that way it's completely you know all that, all the crap is all cleaned off. Uh, so use brass. Don't you know? Don't use stain. Don't use steel or stainless steel or whatever, because that's that. That you know, brass is soft, so it doesn't scratch your. Uh, it doesn't scratch your. Uh, your. Uh, your fork. So see that how it's all powdery. So that's when you know it's the the Loctite got heated up enough where it, it basically broke. You know, broke down. So everything here's again everything here's still real hot. So be mindful of that. Okay, I think I'm good. It looks like it's pretty clean. So you can wipe it with the with the rag. So my piece in here, this piece in here is probably real dirty as well. So do the same thing, stick stick your brush in here, clean it out. Alright, clean it out and uh You should be good. Uh... 
wipe this with a rag again it's still probably blazing hot so that's why I'm wearing gloves uh, gloves wipe this down so there's any residual residual Loctite left in there probably is it's probably Loctite residual on my brush as well let me let me hit the brush real fast and you break off, break loose, whatever crap I have on there. So, that's good there. Uh, when you take this off, be mindful that there's an O-ring over here on the side. And you guys see that? There's an O-ring. That should stay still. You shouldn't. Uh, it shouldn't come off at all. I don't think. Uh, so you should be good there. Uh, let me get the air compressor going and, and blow whatever extra, uh, extra, uh, extra powdery residue left on here. Okay. I still need to clean the inside of the leg, but uh. Anyway, so stay tuned for the next video uh, while I take this off. Uh, you need a 14 millimeter Allen for this. Uh, but I'll do that in the next video and, and so you guys can see. Let me uh, spend the rest of the time off camera cleaning off that Loctite on the, on the um, axle holder.